Welcome to another walk and talk. Nori and I are out on a wet, cold <laughs> winter morning. And I thought we'd do a little photography talk. Today's subject is how many frames is enough for film photography? I just saw a video talking about the new Pentex film camera that they've been developing. I've been kind of excited about this ever since I heard about them developing a film camera. And then when I saw what the camera was going to be, my heart sunk somewhat. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed. So it appears that Pentax's entry into the film photography camera market is going to be a half frame vertical format camera. I was hoping for at least a full frame camera, at least a full 35 millimeter frame size camera. Their, their thinking and their reasoning behind it seems to be a little odd to me. It seems like their selling point is that now you'll have twice the frames, just like shooting with a smartphone or digital camera. You can do a lot more photography for the same amount of money, double the photography. And it'll be great for social media because you'll be shooting vertically. Let, let me say that just because this approach won't meet my needs or it's not what I want in a, a camera doesn't mean they won't be successful or find a market for it. But to me, it, it just feels like they've kind of missed what I think film photography is <laughs> or why a lot of people choose to uh, shoot film in 2024. Their answer to the cost of film is, well, I'll just give you twice as many frames and you'll be happy with that. Where they seem to have that digital mentality that you can just go out and shoot tons of frames. You'll be so happy. Every time you push the shutter, it's gonna be satisfaction. <laughs> and that might be what a lot of people get satisfaction out of. For me, the satisfaction in film photography is the making of the image. It's the contemplation of making the photo. It takes me a long time to get through a 36 exposure roll of film. My approach to photography was shaped in the film days. I've never been one to go out and make tons of frames when making photos. I've always been pretty conservative in that regard. And that, that's probably just because I, I learned <laughs> with film. I once watched a video of a guy talking about why he would never use film. Because when he goes out and takes pictures, he usually shoots like 300 frames at least. So his question is, well, how much would that cost me? And my question would be, well, do you really need to shoot 300 frames? <laughs> What is it you're doing that you need to make 300 images? Now, I can see that in a, a sporting event or something, but just walking around casually making photos, I just, I just wonder how much seeing the person's doing that they can't do it with less frames. So you can't really have that, that mindset, that digital mindset when you're using film. For a lot of people, film photography is about slowing down. It's about being contemplative. It's about knowing that's the composition you want before you hit the shutter button. Got a muddy morning here. To people that have never used film, 
they might think it's a, a odd thing to not blast away <laughs> to not just take a picture every time you you know have a whim to do so when I did journalism with film we had to be pretty selective of what we uh, photographed so we could because we had to go back and develop this stuff I didn't want to go back with 10 rolls of film on every assignment I would I would love to take two or three rolls <laughs> and develop that and I think I've adopted a lot of that in my digital photography because whatever I photograph if I, if I make a thousand frames of something I gotta edit this stuff <laughs> something that I found kind of interesting thinking back to when we transitioned from film to digital one would think our photography would have gotten better because we could see the back of the camera and know we're getting the shots what I think was happening was we it just made us faster we we made photos till we found what was good enough and then we headed back to the office where with film you didn't know if you had all the shots you needed and if if everything was going to turn out so we often would stay longer and make a few more frames and in that period of time a lot of times we would come up with maybe one of our best shots because we stayed longer committed more time to the shoot to the photos because we didn't know we had the shot yeah it's coming down I had a feeling it was going to be like that on today's walk it's just what you got to do sometimes I already find it a challenge to get the image quality I want out of a uh, 35 millimeter frame I can't even imagine trying to cut that in half. Often I think 35 millimeter may not be quite big enough. <laughs> but it is a fun challenge and, and I think if you're careful you can get quite a bit of image quality out of 35 millimeter uh, full frame. I guess it depends on what you're going to use the camera for. Now I don't want this to sound negative because <laughs> I think so far it does. I, I hope that they succeed in attractive, attracting more people to film photography, but I'm not sure trying to compete with digital by just giving more frames and less quality is, is, is the answer. I really would like to have a fixed lens point and shoot kind of camera something with a good quality lens on it I mean I've said I I don't shoot film casually but there are times where I wouldn't mind a nicer compact setup something with like a 28 millimeter out in the woods that I could put in my pocket pull out that would be kind of cool I, I I don't know how this would distinguish you would distinguish this camera from a disposable camera that's used full frame image quality it'd be interesting to see what the image quality how they compare probably still gonna have better image quality on the half frame if they have a decent lens but still I don't know <laughs> hopefully I've uh, communicated what I'm trying to say here this unscripted walking and talking is can be a bit of a challenge I am happy that somebody's coming out with new film cameras I'm just not sure how many people are gonna find a half-frame camera all that appealing it seems to me that with this approach why not just use your smartphone what what's so special about film It, it do you use film just for the sake of using film and you want to say it's on film I mean I, I the one place I can see this really being kind of a cool asset would be for photos of of uh, family members gatherings birthdays that kind of thing that does make some sense and maybe that's what people want out of this kind of camera uh, for me I, I use you know 
that's where my smartphone comes in <laughs> but uh maybe maybe that's the market they're going for is for someone who wants to document their everyday life and they don't need bigger than a, a four by six print that that does make sense but as a person who uses photography probably a little more seriously as an art form I, I uh, I'm a little bit disappointed by the uh, the announcement of this camera <laughs> maybe they'll come out with something different now down the road if they do I, I hope that it it is a full frame camera full frame 35 millimeter honestly though I'd love to see them step back into the medium format give me a medium format camera even a fixed lens one I I would be all over that I guess I'll, I'm gonna hope that they have success with this and uh, I'll be hoping that maybe this is just the first step into something a little more uh, for artists and professional photographers down the road my answer to uh, the rising cost of film I'll just be more contemplative think about my shots more so what do you think is this the camera you've been waiting for is this the the camera for you are you excited about this uh, announcement or are you looking for or hoping for something a little different and like I said before just because it's not great for me doesn't mean it's not great for somebody it may not meet my needs but it might meet somebody else's needs so hopefully uh, if this is the camera you've been waiting for hopefully you'll get it and make some some good photos well Nori and I are getting soaked <laughs> so we're gonna end today's video right here until next time thanks for coming along for the ride what do you think girl you wet Come on. Let's go.